I think as beauty queens, right, uh, we are sort of supposed to be the role model because of the fact that we are representing the country. So in a way, yes, we do have to be mindful of our behaviours and our, our manners and the way we conduct ourselves. Um, I find that beauty queens should be a role model, but you can't expect them to be angels as well because we're all still human, right? And Miss Singapore's title is actually really to celebrate the power of a woman and how we can use our beauty brains to re represent charitable organisations, help with children or even interact with school students, doing small things like that. So definitely she has to be uh, a woman that even a primary school child can look up to and they can just easily go to the internet and google your name and they can find out everything about you. <laughs> so it's better to have a clean slate than to start off with one that is not very clean. Probably the only burden is that you have to behave a lot more proper in public. Uh, you can't like anyhow swear or, <laughs> or you, you know, sometimes some words do slip out of your mouth and you're like, oops, then you just hope there's nobody hears it. Yeah, that's probably the only burden for me. These pictures were taken a year before. At that time, she might not have any intention of joining the Singapore. So everybody has got their own social life. Everybody wants to be have fun at some point in time. And perhaps you know it is her birthday. It is once a year where she wants to just you know uh, let her hair down. So this being the case, I think this is actually her own private life. I think Rachel should be stripped of the title. But if she's given a chance, I mean she can be given a second chance. Uh.